I love these game changer videos. Watch these guys go crazy. Oh, are you guys ready to see what's under the hood? I suggest using a jigsaw. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Watch the other guy. Look at him. Are you guys ready to see this? Oh, let me pop the hood. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back in it to win it. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. Now, on this channel, we talk about everything aquatics, whether it be freshwater, saltwater, we do DIY projects in the aquarium hobby, and local fish store tours. And then, of course, your boy adds his own little style and flavor and entertainment value to the video, which entertains you all at home. Now, a quick update on the Island Silver Crown giveaway. For those of you that have no idea, I have a hat sponsor, Island Silver Crowns. They make the best crowns in the world, I'm telling you guys. Go check them out. Links will be down in the description below. I'll actually put their Instagram right there. Go check them out. Go give them a follow. Beautiful custom crowns. Now, I was doing a giveaway where I was giving away my custom signature crown, the Hawaiian Fish Keeper crown. Anyways, I'm here to let you guys know that Fish Freak did contact me, and he did claim his prize. So I'll be shipping out that crown to you shortly. So I just wanted to let everybody know, just in case you guys were wondering. But stay tuned, because your boy's going to have a lot more giveaways giveaways all right now let's jump into this video right behind me is my above ground pond where I have all of my koi and goldfish stocked in here okay now the reason why I have all of them stocked in the above ground pond is because over here to my right to your left at home is Tiki Falls we're doing a complete renovation on Tiki Falls I kind of broke ground ish I will do a video on that we'll cover Tiki Falls which is my below ground pond kind of a channel favorite I built it in me three years ago maybe. And uh, anyways, it's got a couple waterfalls in it. It had three waterfalls at one point, but I slowly started to break it down because we are gonna rebuild that bad boy and it's gonna absolutely look beautiful. So stay tuned for future videos. And speaking of future videos, this is a great opportunity to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell because that's gonna notify you when I upload a new video and you don't wanna miss any of the renovation when it comes to Tiki Falls 4.0. Now I'm sure you guys saw the thumbnail and you were wondering what that huge box was that I was holding in the thumbnail. Well, I am totally upgrading my above ground pond right behind me and it's for the best and I just can't wait to share it with you. I love these game changer videos, you know? I call these videos the game changer because I'm gonna introduce to you something that you guys can benefit from. Honestly, you guys can. Wait till I show you what I did. We kinda did an upgrade on the filtration on this above ground pond. For those of you guys that don't know the above ground pond, let me show you what I got in here. All right, here we go. We have this beautiful pond lily that I actually put in. It was in Tiki Falls. I just took it out yesterday and stuck it in here. The fish absolutely love it. Of course, it gives them a little bit of protection. They love going under the lily pads. Um, as you can see, they're all out. They look great. Everybody is healthy. Uh, did a huge water change on this the other day. Uh, we have gold cloud minnows. You can see them lurking right there. I have white cloud minnows in here too as well. Various koi in here. I see Chris in there. I see Joey. I see Renee. It's like, uh, remember that show back in the day? Robber Room? I see Hans, and there's Nana and Mary, and I see Angela and Gus. I see Billy and Joel and Mark and Jason and Lisa and Mary. But anyways, we got, look at Curly, Larry, and Moe, the three sriracha goldfish i finally got them out of tiki falls they were tough to get they immediately linked up but you can see the gold cloud minnows oh you see that little goldfish right there uh that is my shoe bunking goldfish that i actually bred from when he was a fry there was a bunch of fry that was in tiki falls i managed to gosh capture four i believe one of them died i threw them all in tiki falls and this is what he looks like he was the big chunker that i got um, anyways, he's doing great in here. He's thriving in here with all of his, uh, I don't know, we'll call them brothers and sisters. Um, but anyways, you can see I stuck this net over the above ground pond. Uh, it's nothing bad. It's just, I don't want the fish to jump out, which they will. Those of you that don't know, koi and sometimes goldfish are jumpers. They will jump out of the pond. So this is just a safety precaution, but down here are just hooks that I just, uh, you know, screwed in by hand, and I just hook it, and I have hooks all the way around the perimeter. Make sure if you have an above ground pond, do not assume that your fish won't jump. They will jump, okay? So take safety precautions and put a net 
I know, you know, it's not aesthetically pleasing, but it's not that bad. You know, if you're looking at it from here, it really isn't that bad. And I love the backdrop of my Hawaiian ginger right there. That's my backdrop. So it actually looks like a lot of plants in the back there, but the actual plants that are in the bog filter are these red cannas, which are beautiful plants. I have um, some iris right here, and you can actually see some of the yellow canna right here. This, you can see it blooming from flowers coming out. And then I have my taro right there, which is coming to life right now. It was in bad shape, but being that the fish are in here producing, producing waste, that is natural fertilizer for these plants. And these plants are taking off. These fish, it's just a temporary home because we are going to upgrade Tiki Falls 4.0, my below ground pond. This gets water changed once a week, 50% water changed to be exact. Great bog filter, the filter is awesome. You're probably saying, what can you possibly do to upgrade this beautiful above ground pond, which seems like it has all the bells and whistles? Well, it does have a lot of bells and whistles, but you can always upgrade your pond. And I'm always happy to share this stuff with you, my Ohana. So let's get into what I got, that huge box. Let me show you. Check it out. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this, you guys are probably like, oh, uh, okay, what is it, some green stuff? No, these are actually pond mats sent to me from <gasps> Mountain Tree. If you guys have no idea who Mountain Tree is, Mountain Tree is China's award-winning manufacturer for filter, media, and pond accessories. Look at this, man. They sent me these filter pads. They are a huge fan of the channel, especially a huge fan on Tiki Falls and my above ground pond. And they wanted to help me out by sending me some of these filter mats. But I'm gonna go over everything in detail about this. Let me give you an idea of what my bog filter sponge looks like that I'm running inside the bog filter, okay? Let me show you. So as you can see, the water comes up through the intake. It comes right up through this little section of the bog filter, which the water passes through that sponge. Now you see that sponge there? That is just your basic koi pond sponge that I picked up on eBay. It was super cheap. And I would always see people use these types of sponges. It's not really the right sponge to use when you have a koi pond. It gets clogged super fast and it's kind of a pain in the butt to be honest with you. Now let's go over the fine details on why this filter mat from Mountain Tree is so much better than all the others. So first off, it has three times the specific surface area for more bacteria to attach to, more highly efficient cultivation of beneficial nitrifying bacteria. Next, it's made of eco-friendly material by hot melting, safe for water, UV, and sunshine resistant, and more durable. My Ohana, this is so funny. The exact same style of mat that I'm using to filter my above ground pond is the same one that Mountain Tree is using in the comparison, you know, as you see the chart. This is the exact same one. So the funny thing and cool thing about it is uh, when I'm doing a comparison, it's the one that they're actually using in the chart. So we can actually see the difference. Now, as far as the thickness goes, it's 40 millimeter thickness for better water and oxygen circulation to keep bacteria active and prevent clogging. Like I said earlier, this stuff here clogs extremely fast because, I mean, you can look at it. You can't even see through it, right? How it's so dense. It just gets clogged faster. Now, look at this. Look at how much space there is. Look at that, you can actually see through it. Now, you don't just use one of these, you can use two, three, four of these. That's why they sent me so many. I'm definitely gonna customize this in a bunch of different ways for the above ground pond. I just wanted to merely show you guys because I actually have the same mat that they have, the difference. So you can actually see when it talks about oxygen and circulation, that's what they're talking about. Look at that. Here's another great reason why this mat is so much better. Uh, it's easy to cut and maintain. The maintenance on this is super easy. Because it's not so dense, 
you can rinse this out very cleanly with a high pressure hose. And because of its rigid shape, when you actually put it in and take it out and put it in and take it out of your filter box or your bog filter or wherever you have this, it won't get loose, it won't bend or flex or slowly break down. This thing is super durable. It's ROHS testified. It's safe for fish and humans when applied in water filtration for a long time. So don't have to worry about when it breaks down, what it's actually gonna be doing to you or your fish. But not only that, Ohana, this thing will last you for more than five years. This thing lasts a long time. Not like this stuff that'll break down after a period of time, right? And then you just gotta do one of those and toss it in the trash, you know? This is it right here, guys. Mountain Trees Filter Pad for Koi Ponds. Mountain Tree actually sent me an application example just to show you guys and give you guys some different ideas and examples on how to position these filter mats. You can see in the first one, it's positioned in an aquarium sump, kind of gives you an idea. Positioned in a Baki shower, that style of filtration, and then positioned in a pond overflow filtration which is super cool, super versatile. Now, last but not least, this is just my personal opinion on this mat here. I love the color, the fluorescent green. Reason being is the one that I'm using now is like a dark blue, so when it gets dirty, you really can't see the dirt. You gotta really look at it. This lime green will definitely show the dirt. Not only that though, it'll be time to clean it when this thing is black. You can see it, especially if you have a clear sump or if you have a clear bog filter where you can actually see the green right through it without having to move anything, you'll know when this thing's dirty. So great call on the color, Mountain Tree. Now go check out Mountain Tree. I'll have all of the links down in the description below. You guys gotta check them out. They not only just do like pond mats and filters, they actually have biomedia for ponds, for aquariums. They have a huge selection of different things. I can't wait to get some of their media. We'll do a video on that. Hopefully I can get one of their filtration systems and set it up for Tiki Falls 4.0, or maybe I can set it up on the above ground pond too, just so we can see how it works. So Mountain Tree, hey, get at your boy, all right? We can work things out. I can show everybody what you guys are all about. Now when it comes to cutting this mat, I suggest using a jigsaw. This is probably the easiest way to do it. You could probably use like a carpenter knife, a really long one, and you could probably slice through it if it's a fresh new blade. Uh, but I find that the jigsaw is just easier to use. We're just gonna mark it off with a Sharpie. And then I'm gonna show you after you cut it, what you need to do. So once you're done with the cut, you can actually see some of the loose ends, you see? some of the loose ends. Now, what I find to be super helpful is taking one of these types of lighters, or you can use matches or whatever, and just burning the ends off, okay? So, you know, you take this and you see how it just burns it up a little bit, and just kind of singe all of the loose ends. This works like a charm. And that way, everything will just kind of melt together, and you don't have to worry about any of this breaking down or anything like that. Get all those loose ends, you know? This one right here, I'll show you this as an example. This is a perfect example right here. There you go. <laughs> there you go, we just blow it out and look at it. It just seals perfect. We'll take this and we'll singe all the little loose ends and make sure they seal tight. All right, my Ohana, are you guys ready to see what's under the hood? I actually kind of feel like Vin Diesel, you know, like in Fast and the Furious. Pop the hood. Pop the hood? Oh, gosh, that was horrible. Hold on, hold on. I got another one for you, right? Hold on, let me get into my Vin Diesel character here. <clears throat> here we go, here we go. You know you owe me a 10 second car. You know you owe me a 10 second car. I even got a better one than that, all right? I'm gonna go dramatic Vin Diesel on you, all right? Dramatic Vin, here we go, here we go. <clears throat> I live my life a quarter mile at a time. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Oh, your boy nailed it, all right? Just for that little performance there. Give this video a big like. But not only that though, comment down below. Tell me what you think about my Vin Diesel impersonation. All right, seriously, let's get under the hood of this bog filter, all right? Let's check it out. Are you guys ready to see this? Oh, let me pop the hood. Oh. M G Z. Look at that. Would you just look at that? So basically what I did was I doubled up the pad. So we got two pads. You can see way down there at the bottom is the flow. That's where the water's coming out of. It's going through these two sponges. And then I actually cut a smaller one. If you can see it down there, but the, the glare, 
I cut one down there and, put, and set it down there. So when the water passes through these two sponges, it's gonna have to pass through that sponge down there, which there's no overflow. Everything is looking great. Water goes through the bottom of these six crates at the bottom and they are full of gravel. If you can look down there, there it is. You see the gravel? So the water rises through the gravel, which is also, you know, obviously my bio media. And then we got the plants in here too as well, which is sucking out the nitrates. Water comes out over the flow into the pond. Now check it out, check it out. You see that flow? We're gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna show you something on this waterfall spillway. Not only did we upgrade the sponges on the other end, but we also upgraded the waterfall spillway. Let me show you something. Okay, so I noticed when flowers bloom, you know, you have some flowers there, right there you can see some of the flowers. When they bloom and they die, the flowers and the buds, they fall down into the bog filter, right? Now, this bog filter, whether it be leaves or flowers or buds, they will slowly work their way down to this end and then fall out the waterfall spillway into the pond, which I was wondering why there were flowers and leaves collecting right here on the netting. See the netting? The netting would actually catch it. So with that being said, I actually cut a small piece of foam and I set it right here. So this is another filtration and you can see the water flow. Remember we talked about the water flow and the oxygen flow of this actual mat? It is not even messing with the waterfall spillway. It is not blocking it, clogging it or at all. I'm sure sooner or later, once it gets dirty, it will, but you can actually see it right there. And look at, look at that laminar shield of water. It's super clear. It's not broken up or anything like that. So what I will do is I will just clean this sponge out. You can see some debris already caught. Look at right down over here. You see it? Let me zoom in over here. You can see that debris. You see that debris? It actually caught that little piece of debris before it went into my pond. This is actually servicing like a pre-filter, if you will, before it goes into my pond. And all I did was just wedge it underneath there. I cut it to the size and wedged it underneath there. That's it. But, but by just adding that piece, guys, that's gonna make my water quality even that much more better. So Mountain Tree, big shout out to you guys for these sponges. I absolutely love them. I've never seen these guys do this. Look in the flower pot. You can see there's koi, actually two koi, and a shibunkan goldfish. I wanna watch them swim out of that flower pot. That is hilarious. They actually jump in there. Ah, these guys. Let's give these guys a little food. Watch these guys go crazy. Oh, look at, <laughs> he just jumped out. Let's see these other two guys jump out. Oh my gosh, there was three koi. Watch the other koi, look at him. <laughs> if you guys are wondering, I feed my koi twice a day, sometimes three times a day. Look at them all. Come on guys, you know what daddy's doing. Joey Keys, he's always the brave one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And here they come. They'll start to feast. Yum, yum, yummy. Look at that yummy, yum, the yummy, yum, the yummy, yum. A straight feeding fest. I love watching the koi so close um, in the above ground pond. It's a lot different experience than feeding them in the uh, below ground pond, Tiki Falls. You're just so much, you know, up close and personal with them. Look at. There he is, the blind shoebunking goldfish, daredevil. He smells the food, he's looking for food now. Look at him, he's swimming like a shark, look at him. See how fast he maneuvers, look at him, get some food. No eyes, he's doing it without seeing. So amazing, man, I don't know how he does it. He can navigate through anything. I love that guy. All right, my Ohana, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Another huge shout out to Mountain Tree. I really appreciate the love and support, Mountain Tree. I can actually see a nice little partnership developing here. I want to test one of your filtration systems on Tiki Falls 4.0, or maybe we can hook it up to the above ground pond, but I definitely want to show the Ohana and my channel how your filtration system works, your biomedia. I mean, I love your guys' stuff, so. 
get back at your boy, all right? Other than that, I will see you guys on the next video. Enjoy your day, Ohana. Much love and aloha. <laughs> Fake a pay, Mukuku, how you hook your ill in my